Hey guys, Stampede 19 here. Just wanted to go over servos. This one is the waterproof Traxxas 2075. And uh, unfortunately, I made a rookie mistake <coughs> with the uh, with installing this uh, servo. Uh, I put it in a vehicle without a servo saver. Now, the highlight of the 2075 is it has a lot of torque. For such an inexpensive servo, it's about 35 bucks. Um, it's waterproof, so for that price, it's a great servo. The drawback is plastic. No servo saver, any stress, you're going to damage the gears. So, just a little uh, part number 2072 from Traxxas replacement gears and bearings okay here's the fun side four bucks so if you just have a damaged gear four bucks new servo all right the motor is gone it's a different story get another servo but if you verify that it's definitely your gears four bucks you got a brand new servo um, I went ahead and pulled the screws out already it's four of them out of the back, just gently wiggle, and you pull this right off that way. Okay, some of the gears are going to stay. Just push them out. Right, no big deal. A little grease in there. <clears throat> now, comes with instructions. Tells you how to put the gears in. Okay. Just want to show you where the teeth broke. I don't know if you can see that. See it? Point it out to you. All right there, the gears are missing. See the teeth won't bust out. Okay, same situation here. If you look, culprit's right here. This tooth is completely missing. If you can see a little contrast on the table, maybe on my finger. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much straightforward stuff. You've got four gears. You're gonna get messy. You're gonna get grease on your fingers, so be prepared. Um, good to have a little paper towel floating around somewhere. Just to give you an idea. There's one of the teeth floating around. Focus, come on. There's one of the teeth right there. Poor bastard. Okay, and the how I knew before I even took it apart when the vehicle wasn't responding to steering um, when the vehicle wasn't responding to steering when we went over to the vehicle when we went over to the car we could turn the wheel on the radio and you could hear the servo spinning back and forth but you weren't getting any motion so that told me I've got damaged gears and the motor itself was pretty much in good shape this is just Traxxas standard grease. Okay, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else, any other damage. Doesn't look like it. You would think these little guys would have broke, right? <laughs> Never would think the big ones on the uh, main gear. Okay, just gonna clean it up a little bit. Now the kit comes with bearings. I recommend you change them. You have it out, you have it apart. Don't mess around. Just get it <clears throat> just get it done. Okay, here's the bearing right here. The only thing you want to salvage is the O-ring. They don't give you one in the case in the repair kit. They should. I'm a little surprised they don't. Okay, this is one of the reasons why it's waterproof. Is this O-ring. Okay, you got your bearing right here. Gonna be tough to get that off. I recommend leaving it on. They don't kill yourself. Just throw it away. Again, they're giving you a brand new one in the kit. Okay. Let's just make sure we have what we need. 
Here's your main gear. We gotta put a bearing in the O-ring on that. Then we have this guy here. Then we have that guy there. We have this one on the bottom. And we have the two bearings. Something to crack this open. A little boring, I know, I apologize. But as far as I'm concerned, well worth the trouble of rebuilding these. Like I said, for four dollars, you got a brand new gear set. Just a little aggravation. Okay. I'm going to get this guy here. We're going to slide him up. Now, the shafts come out. Make sure you put the shafts in the same place. Okay. That guy went back fine. He went back fine. And the main gear sounds like it's okay. back on there okay this may take a little coaxing okay. it's a little bit of a pain in the butt you gotta make sure you get the gear right in the hole Okay, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there is a shroud around the gear for the motor. And this grabs that. Okay. So far, so good. Now, I'm going to get a little grease. I'm not going to use the Traxxas grease. I'm going to use the... Marine grease. Good stuff. Okay, pretty much lube it up. Just get it on there. Nothing fancy. Okay. Okay, that should be it. Now you get this guy, put him right in the middle. Get this guy right in the middle. Just keep wiggling until you get it right. I think we're good. And there you have it. Just follow the diagram and replace cover. That should go right on. Clean it up. Put your screws back in. And you've got a working servo. I hope that helped. Post any questions or comments. Um, pretty quick video. Just wanted to show you the guts of how it goes in. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon.